Scotland's to these Ulster Scots communities. On the first day of the week, Mary Immaculate comes out, for it was yet murk, to the tomb. And she sees the stain, ten awa, for the tomb. Then she runs and goes to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and says to them that he ten away my Lord out of the tomb, and we ken not where that he laid him. Traveling in a world so dark and cold, no peace could I find. All the paths on far from the shepherd's fold, I met a friendly guy. The history of the, of the Scots and Ulster Scots people is solid with the gospel. And what we see these days is there's, a, there's an emphasis on things like dancing and tartan and pipes and all of those things are valid. But for us, it's the gospel element of Ulster Scots culture. It was the gospel that was so dominant in our lives all growing up. He, that great Ulster writer, C.S. Lewis, he once said to somebody, if you can't express your faith in the vernacular, that is in down-to-earth language, then either you don't have any faith or maybe you just don't believe it enough. And I thought of one of them which was the very last one in verse 7 of that chapter in Genesis which says you will be, you will bless all the people of the world and you know I just thought about the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus Christ, as God's Son, came to this earth and died for sinners like you and me. Water, man, water, man, water into wine, heal the sea.